Today we are finishing up our home exhaust fan installation. In the last segment, Joe and Jude finished wiring and securing the fan. The next step is to install the exhaust conduit. Joe is using a level to mark out the roof area to cut for a vent. Then he measures the length from the fan assembly. This is for later when he cuts the conduit tube. Now they are ready to cut the vent. However, they are finding it difficult to use the saw from in the attic. This is tough. You know, what we got is just a mark from the inside to give us a location for where we're cutting. Kind of hard to cut it underneath the roof, so we figured come up here, we can cut it nice and hole. They use the attic cuts and the conduit pipe to outline a cut from the roof. Once the hole is cut, they position a vent cover and cut the shingles around it. They do this before installing the conduit so they don't have to work around it. Joe then installs the conduit. After it's fastened to the fan assembly in the attic, Joe trims the tube and cuts tabs. He then uses screws to fasten each tab to the roof. Finally, they can install the vent cover. Joe and Jude lay down a bead of tar with a caulking gun, then they slide the cover between two layers of shingle. Then all they have left to do is add tar to all the seams for a weather seal and nail everything to the root. And now we have our lovely exhaust fan all installed. So we've got the exhaust fan installed, and now all we have to do is put the cap on. Okay, turn the switch in the works, huh, Joe? Yeah. So that's all we got for you. Have a nice day.